This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT science question. This question's a little bit intimidating with all these deltas and equations, but it's really simple if you just look in the passage. So let's see what the question is. The question asks us, what must the relationship between this delta H of F, which they tell us is the enthalpy of formation, and uh, T delta S of F, and that's the temperature of the standard entropy of formation. Uh, so let's we don't have to worry about what these concepts are, we just have to keep them in mind uh, throughout the passage. So what must the relationship of this be in order for a reaction to be in equilibrium? So it's really simple if we just look in this last paragraph, we'll see something about equilibrium. So it gives us this equation, this Gibbs free energy of formation. We don't need to worry about it, it's, it's complicated, but we, what we're really looking at is a simple question. Um, so it tells us that if this delta G is less than zero, the reaction will proceed spontaneously. And here's what we want. If it is equal to zero, the system is at equilibrium. So we want something where this delta G is going to be, we want this to equal zero. So we want to have something like zero equals delta H of F minus T delta SF. So the only way for this to be zero is if this value and this value are the same. So all we want to do is just set this the enthalpy of formation equal to this um, en entropy equation. So that's all you have to do, and that is our choice three. So the only way they'll be zero is if they're the same. So none of these other ones make sense. Choice three is our answer.